So I'm, I'm going to take your head off. No! I don't want to do this. I ain't got nobody. How does a ventriloquist do that? What might seem like magic actually requires a lot of fine-tuned skills and practice. Why? Why do people talk like that? Ventriloquism takes a very skilled performer, but also an audience willing to suspend its disbelief. Just enough to believe a puppet could actually be talking. Mark Merchant is a lifetime performer and ventriloquist. He's been honing his skills since childhood, learning from a ventriloquism record his parents gave him. The main rule of ventriloquism? Don't move your lips. I oh, hope you didn't move your lips. I hope I didn't either. Yeah. Easier said than done. Some words have bilabial and fricative consonants. These require our lips to make the sounds. So ventriloquists use consonant substitutions. M, mm. P, yes. and F. Uh, F is easy. You just kind of say F. F, Frankenstein, Frankenstein. And V, Larry. You kind of say the. Larry, Larry, Larry good. The boy, you're kind of saying the g doy. The boy, the boy. So instead of saying tomato, you say tongue, nato. Tongue nato, tongue nato. But it's not just your voice that's important. Ventriloquism is a performance that frequently involves puppets and crafting convincing characters for them. Each of Merchant's puppets has its own voice and personality. For some, he uses levers connected through a stick to get their facial expressions just right. All these details help the audience drop their skepticism in a performance. Our brains can actually trick us when we know sounds aren't coming from the object they appear to be. Think about a movie theater. We know audio is coming from a speaker somewhere in the theater, but we tend to forget that fact. Instead, our brains interpret the audio as coming from the speaker on the screen. No, I wouldn't say that. The same effect works with puppets and ventriloquism. Merchant says half a successful performance depends on his skills as a puppeteer, but the other half comes from the buy-in of the audience. Hello there. He seemed like a pretty willing audience, so I thought I'd try it out. Hello. We are World Watch. Ah, looks like I'm gonna need a bit of practice before my lips will stand still. But maybe you guys are better at this. Send us your own ventriloquism attempts to feedback at worldwatch.news. You're doing ventriloquism, I know. Huh? It's that time of the year again, folks. Hibernation season. So break out your brackets because Fat Bear Week is back and bear lovers all over are breathing a sigh of relief. When a government shutdown loomed last week, many worried they wouldn't get to vote for their chubby champions. Some great matchups already. The colossal 402 against the spectacularly rotund 901. Some adorable junior fat bears made it into the lineup, but they'll have to peck on the pounds to go against old timers like two-time champ 747. But hey, 901 made an impressive transformation. Maybe the little guys can hang in there. A few extra votes would certainly help. Polls open today, October 4th, and close on the 8th. Go here to cast your vote and even make your own bracket. And thanks for watching, everybody. I'm the Big Bash. Remember, whatever it is, the purpose of the Lord will stand. We'll see you tomorrow.